This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Angela Dempsey with me and Dave Mandeville. Thank you very much for joining us today. Oh. Now, let me get this straight, and if I make a mistake, please correct me. You are both with the Fire, Smith Falls Firefighters Association. You are currently, Angela, a volunteer firefighter. Yes. And Dave, you are a retired yes. firefighter. Okay, awesome. Dave, you've been around forever, too. We, we all know the Mandible yeah. family. Yes, yeah, yeah. I grew up with you guys. Yeah. And so. high school and everything like that, too. So, well known name in the area. So, thanks for joining us. We're going to talk a little bit today about the Firefighters Association and the difference between uh, being a firefighter and being on the association. Maybe, Angela, you'd like to start? So there's two different entities. Mm -hmm. um, the association is made up of retired firefighters, current firefighters, volunteer firefighters, and that's what the association's for. The association is more of a community outreach, reaching uh, the sponsorships, the MD Drive, um, the Santa Claus parades, the Touch the Truck, as well as the Fresh Fry. Um, so that what our main goal is is we're not for profit. So we do have some expenditures um, to have the association, um, such as our building on Maisie Street. Um, however, our main goal is to give back to the community, to reach out to the community. So all prevention and the, the main piece of the firefighters is through the fire, Smith Falls Firefighter Department. So we don't deal with any of the uh, prevention stuff. We don't do any of that. But to be on the association, you have to have either been a retired firefighter or current firefighter, whether it be full-time or volunteer, um, or on the union itself. Okay, so there are some requirements. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Because I know you're trying to get some volunteers as well. We are. So, but this, this, th that's the Smith Falls Fire Department. Okay. So we are looking. We are actively recruiting um, for the Smith Falls Fire Department for volunteer. Um, the application is on the Smith Falls website. Um, you just fill it out. You'll go through all the screening, um, and there is some compo components that you do have to meet. Um, but then they provide, they help assist with the training. Um, there's different meetings that you have to attend. But again, those are two different entities. So the association meets once a month. Um, and like I said, our main goal is community outreach, uh, sponsorships. Um, we just did the MD boot drive with um, at Canadian Tire. Um, they were very, very kind because of Beckwith being off. They were very, very kind to allow us to use their parking lot. Um, and we raised, I think it was close to $3,500, yeah. wow. um, which is one of our, besides Touch the Truck, it was one of our first events coming out of COVID. So our goal is to get the association back present and active within the community. It's been a long two years. It has been a very long, long two, two years. years. You know, I, I mean, the Touch a Truck event, that was amazing. I had a great time with that. I took my, my grandson, he's eight years old, had a wonderful time. Yeah. And it was great to see so many people out yeah. and asking probing questions and just visiting and sharing all that information. That's so right. That's right. Now, Dave, you're a retired firefighter? Yes, I was on the department for 35 years. And uh, so I'm retired now. I'm retired from everything. <laughs> you're retired from everything. And so now you're volunteering. <laughs> you're that was a volunteer position as well, though. Yes. Yes, that's right. That's yeah. right. 35 years volunteering yeah. as a firefighter, and yeah. now you're on the association. So. And you're the secretary. Yes, I've been the secretary. Or treasurer. Treasurer, oh, treasurer sorry. sorry. You're the secretary. Yeah. You're the treasurer. <laughs> I've been the treasurer. Oh. 20 years now. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to give up the position here. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get some more some more help on board for sure, for sure. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, big commitment, especially now that, you know, COVID is over. You're going to be starting to talk about events and everything. The Touch a Truck was one of the first ones. But we're very excited about being able to reach the community, for mm -hmm. the community to know the association to give back to the community like as firefighter as the smith falls fire department um, we do a lot but the association has because we have access to the retired firefighters as well as the volunteer um, everybody on the association is doing out of their giving up their time there's no um there's nothing that we get so it's all about reaching the community and letting the community know who we are um, what we stand for, and if in case of an emergency, 
maybe knowing some of the volunteers or seeing the full times within the community as well. And, and that's uh, what I learned this morning talking to you. I didn't know that the, that the association was retired uh, and present firefighters and unionized firefighters. I, I didn't know that. I thought it was like maybe spouses and volunteers and people who want to, you know, help in the community and everything. So if you go to an event, Dave, you're there working and you're there, Angela, working. If somebody yeah. wants to learn about firefighters, you're right there too to learn yeah. about it. Oh, a, yeah. a lot of the questions we will refer back directly to the fire department just to keep the, the, yeah. um, just to keep the different uh, the difference but we can explain our opinions or not our opinions our experiences especially and children I was thinking yes. children you know yes yeah absolutely yeah yeah because you were saying too like when you go to the Santa Claus parade you're there as the association but you are we're in our full uh, right. uniforms um, and we do have the trucks because but that is asking the department for permission to use the trucks and permission to use the um, um, our station wear outside of that um, realm of okay. what we do. So okay. we also do collect food at the the train. I wrote that yeah. down. A holiday train. You've holiday got that coming up. Yes. Yeah. We've got the date. So um, we are going to be in station wear and have a presence there, according to our president, Paul Biznat. Um, so we are going to do what we can to start giving back to the community and start reaching more. All right, rubbers hit the road. COVID's over. We're going to start doing events. And speaking of which, you do have an event coming up. You have a fish fry coming up. Yeah. Yes, we do. Um, so the fish fry is the, the end of this month on the Friday, October 28th, um, from 4 till 7. It is only... Um, Delivery or pickup, we're having no in-house eating. Um, so delivery can start up to four o'clock. Our contact information is on the website. I don't have the m number memorized. I've got it, 613-485-0886. Correct, okay. so you can call at any point. You can text that number, um, leave in, um, text is probably easier because then we'll have an address, what time you want your food delivered. Um, so e-transfer, is that how you're going to do it, or is it cash only when you... We can set up e-transfer, okay. uh, I believe. We haven't figured that out yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's at your next that. meeting. We're going to talk about yes. that at the next meeting. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> we, within the website, I believe we can set it up to attach, but we'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. So cash is probably preferable. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Once we, um, so we'll have different association members delivering. Um, some, um, we do have the chief's permission to use the, um, the department's uh, half ton. Um, so we are gonna do that as well as other vehicles. Um, so the association part of, there's five volunteers during the day to, to get everything set up, to get everything ready. And then delivery will start at four o'clock and then go straight through till seven until in unless we run out. Okay, okay. Now everybody uh, from Smith Falls knows about our fire department just off Beckwith Street. You also have another location, Dave, on Maisie Street. And that's where this is yes, gonna be. That's where the fish fry will be at 23 Maisie Street. Okay. That's behind the <coughs> North Unit Hospital. Okay. Okay, and that's actually where you keep your antique vehicles as well. That's where we keep the vehicles. Okay. And we also right now house a, a, <coughs> a backup pumper for the town. Okay, okay. And yeah. that's where the, the, because, fire, the fish fire is going to be. Because with the new aerial ladder being so big, it takes up a large part of the fire hall. So this truck would have to sit outside. But anyway, it, it sits in... Uh, Maisie Street. Okay. So the association building is Maisie Street. Okay. The Sniffles Fire Department is on Beckwith, Beckwith okay. Street. Beckwith Street. Town so, Hall. So the association owns the building, and that building was brought in, I believe, in 1989 to 1990. It was completely yeah. finished by 93. Um, and the two trucks we have, um, do you want to take over talking about the trucks? Okay. Originally, we had an old uh, Quonset hut on Chamber Street. That's where we started, way up at the truck subway. Anyway, we, uh, Maisie Street, the town opened up Maisie Street, and they had all this light industrial lots for sale. 
So we bought two lots and we put up the building, which is now there. And um, we housed the two old trucks. Now the 1938 Ford is the original first brand new truck the town of Smith Falls ever bought. Before then, they, they always had a used, they bought a used truck in 1920. Then they had an old steam pumper, oh. bought second hand. Uh, the, actually, the, the department started in 1852 with a bylaw from the town. Okay. So that's where it started. Oh. So the 1938 was the first brand new truck we owned, so it's still with us. Now, to think back to the Depression years, 1938 must have cost them a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And like everything, uh, it's, it's hard for people to understand, but the town and the townships, they pay for the fire department. It's not like the province right. comes in and give, gives grant money or the federal government. The odd time you'll get a grant, but most of the time the fire department is totally funded by the municipality. Right. And that's right. You're that's, just a walking museum, just, Dave. My goodness. It's you just, know. you know, you, <clears throat> people don't realize that. Yeah. And like right now with the local elections, you don't realize how much money, uh, people don't realize how much the town and the townships, how much they do. That's uh, right. That's not right. only snow removal, they cover police and they totally fund the fire departments. That's right. That's right. That's it's, right. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Um, it's a big expenditure when you go out like the last new truck, the aerial that we had bought, it was over a million dollars. Wow. So you figure that's totally funded by the taxpayer of the town of Smith Falls. Then recently, they just got another new pumper. Again, yep. a lot of money. Oh my goodness, and I mean, if and you need that equipment, you're glad we have it. That's yeah. for darn sure, that's for darn and, sure. Um, but, um, the, the like money do you raise at your events though? Like, wh where does that money go? So the association events, mm -hmm. our main is MD, mm -hmm. but however, um, we do, or previous years, and that's what we're hoping to be able to get back to, um, is sponsorships, team sponsorships, um, bursaries at the high school, um, giving back to the community. We do a lot of the help collecting for, even at our Touch the Truck Night, um, we collected for the food bank, um, as well as hosted the barbecue. So the money from the barbecue went to the association, whereas all the food collected was brought to um, the Smith Falls Food Bank. Right. Um, so our goal is specifically to give back to our local communities mm -hmm. and um, teams um, and giving back to the kids. And we can all do that by going to the fish fry. I'm or really some fish fry. So maybe yeah. you can uh, tell the dates and times and how to get your fish. Okay, right? so you can order it directly uh, through on the phone um, with the phone number that you had previously provided it, it, or go to the Maisie Street for pickup. We can't guarantee if there's a long lineup, there might be a wait, um, but we do have um, five different association members who are driving around locally community. We're going to Golf Club Road and for delivery, Golf Club Road by um, just past Jersey Joe's and um, well, uh, just past Walmart for okay. delivery. Um, if it's a big order though, we'll absolutely make exceptions. Um, but again, four to seven, um, and we're hopeful that it's a good community. Oh, I'm sure. I've been to your fish fries before, and you guys are amazing cooks on top of everything else you do, too. So again, it's October 28th, and if you want to order some fish ahead of time, 613-485-0886. So I thank you very much for coming here today. We've got to have you come back because we can talk endlessly about oh. our fire department. <laughs> We've got a museum walking here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So again, I've got Angela Dempsey, you are the secretary yes. of the Smith Falls Firefighters Association and Dave Mandeville, you're the treasurer of the Smith Falls Firefighters mm -hmm. Association. You are currently a volunteer firefighter and Dave, 35 years, just retired. Thank you very much for joining us well, today. Thank you. Thank you.